Hi guys, figured I'd update you and show you a few things I've been doing with this car instead of just talk about it. This way I could actually show you on the video. As you can tell, she's coming together. I've uh, put the liners in, mud flaps, OEM stock, spoiler, chin, splitter lip, whatever you want to call it, bumper lip. And I'm trying to keep her OEM actually. I want to share one of my dilemmas. That manifold has three cracks in it. One, two, I mean, looks like that's the fourth one, but there's a third one on the back side. So I love, I search high and low for a stock aftermarket OEM header and I can't. Only thing I could find is the performance aftermarket and uh, I really don't want to do that, but I don't have a whole lot of choices. For time being, I bought a cheap eBay kit to get the header and the exhaust on it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be looking for a OEM header. I like the engine, I would like for the engine bay to, to be all OEM. So that's the get, game plan there. If you guys got any ideas, shoot them over. So put together this side. Guys, I've searched high and low. And I'm struggling. Well, obviously I gotta adjust that door. I put the seals in and I changed out that latch and looks like it's way out of adjustment. But I've searched high and low for these window seals window trims and I can't seem to find them neither, neither these or this bottom section there's like the slip looking thing well molding um so yeah if you have any or you this is the bottom of it if you know anyone that could sell me a good used one let me know um I've searched high and low also and I couldn't find it here also look what I did in the door man I wish I could show you doesn't do it very well. So I put a little bit of thermo and sound insulation. I made sure it's not touching the bottom. So if there were to be any cooling there happening, it wouldn't be all soaked up in there. I mean, there are drain holes on the bottom of these doors, but you know how it is sometimes. So this is the material I used. It's fire. Protectant is really what it is. I think it's used for under the hood on the hot rods, but uh, this thing works very well for me. I don't know how thick you'd call it, but it's dense little insulator. Um, the reason I use it, it takes out the, the noise. It, it does noise dentoning pretty good for me. I could use the mats. Those are heavy, and I just don't like those as much as I like these. Learn something new. You see the distinguishing in colors? So you would think that someone messed with this one. Nope. I went to do this vehicle. Same exact thing. Same exact color. It looks black, but once you put it up against the really black one, then uh, it really shines. That oh shoot, the video makes it extremely. You can really see it in the video. It's not as different in real world or real life, but that video is really picking up the color difference, which is cool. Shows you guys how bad or how off the color could have been. But anyways, um, I don't know if someone messed with the other vehicles too, but that's weird. I never knew that this is like dark bluish dark charcoal versus black black unfortunate enough i restored this boot there's a tap that was broken under there and i recouped or should i say i recovered this piece from the donor i mean this project definitely wouldn't have been uh, possible i wouldn't even start re restoring this car without a donor vehicle looks like for the time of this vehicle someone's really chasing it you know on the upkeep try to have everything there and they just let it go in the end so I'm just pulling a bunch of parts off of it and once I'm done I'm done I think I'll just put up a local ad saying I'm parting out this is what I have come out and check it out kind of deal but yeah it's always little things here and there that you could pick up I don't know if someone would like to have these seats looks like they're aftermarket but they're there I mean a lot of the guys nowadays can't even get their hands on a seat you know a little bit of upholstery work it's up to you if you want to mess that kind of stuff but anyways yeah guys there she is um what i wanted to do is uh get someone to redo the steering wheel i asked around a couple places locally they won't redo it for me i mean you could see it's stitched leather but they just don't want to touch it i got acquainted with a really good upholstery shop locally they did the seats for me um well once it's detailed it might be a little hard to tell but this is a brand new piece in this well you can tell 
So this is an old piece. This is a new piece. You know, it's not chipped up. And then this guy right here, uh, this is all original. Hard to believe. This is the, yeah, this is the driver's seat. It has the memory. This is the driver's seat. And I don't know why they didn't change out this part. They said it would be fine for now. But at least I know got to meet a couple good guys. These bolsters got torn to crap. So they changed this, this, and this side. Um, this portion of it. Then rest of the seat's original. Guys, you have no idea how happy I am to have the OEM seats. I don't know what's about them. I always loved them. Uh, the older I get, the more I realize how uncomfortable they are. <laughs> but I still love them. This is, this is just something for the... Should I call it the the inner me, my childhood, my teenager me? And I've been contemplating with that, you know, since I went down that eBay route of the manifold. Just maybe I should just lower it a little and put some JDM rims on it like I would when I would be a teenager. <laughs> Once again, I'm restoring this vehicle for me, not somebody else, not for resale. So part of me, the teenager in me, so it's like, why don't you go that route since you are restoring it back to your youth years and your teen years so that's where this whole thing comes from so let me know let me show you what happened this is the oem exhaust the reason i have to get rid of this exhaust is because um this flex pipe is leaking as you can tell well first and foremost i gotta tell you this thing is rotten inside it doesn't look so bad on the outside this is nothing compared to what it is inside I and mean, it's just like you can tell it's just solid and, and like when you shake it around there's a lot of loose particles in there but that's not the thing that thing is rotted out but when you um when you knock on it, it actually sounds like a canister this thing sounds like a bunch of collapsed insulation inside so with that being plugged to crap the bottom side of this is collapsed so you could tell that screwed with the flow real bad most likely the cat's plugged and this is leaking the reason this came off initially was because I was leaking through the manifold gasket. I had a quick glance, it all looked solid on the outside, but when I pulled off the manifold gasket, as you could tell, I sort of wiped it down. I'm gonna do a better job cleaning that up. Then I inspected my manifold, make sure nothing's cracked on that side. As soon as I came down here, I noticed all these cracks, and it's crazy. That is crazy. She's cracked. Well, that tells me one thing, extreme heat. I've heard about it, never seen it. I've heard about it if your exhaust system is clogged. Um, it's not going to cool off well enough and it'll crack things. I'm surprised my valves and everything else is fine. I noticed the oil was pretty cooked in it. Also noticed the, tr or the <laughs> truck. The vehicle doesn't pull like it usually would. Or I was just, you know, throwing that out the window because I drive a Shelby north of 500. My Mercedes is north of 700. I'm like, yeah, whatever, don't even bother trying to chase the performance aspect and that that honestly is what i thought it was VTEC kicked in seemed healthy all the oils were changed spark plugs wires everything was new and i just let it be and then when i saw the exhaust i'm like holy smokes this thing was plugged up so now it's just going to get a header and straight out but uh with due time i'll be on a hunt for a stock manifold header i'm pretty set on that i'm fairly open on the exhaust portion of it but I was able to get my hands on a brand new canister and I've already purchased it because most likely what's going to happen is that on the first day of driving around with that eBay exhaust, I'm going to get sick of it. So I got me a stock OEM, well, aftermarket OEM canister. So I'll end up putting that on my, uh, on my eBay piping. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's a quick little update. As you can tell, she's coming together. Um, I think this is pretty much it i just spoke about everything i'm excited the fact that i i had everything dismantled uh half the interiors are well mo more most of the interiors put together i had every panel out and in the seat every single seat out of here washed the carpet uh and yeah i was really really surprised this is light that's where you see the whites but i'm surprised how well it washed out i mean it wasn't trashed from the get-go but i'm really excited about this car i don't know how much i'll actually drive it but i'm excited about it really am and being able to fill in every you know uh, every screw and every little clip where it's supposed to be that's a big contributing factor to this you know pulled out the driver's seat noticed the clip is gone 
Well, where do you think that seat's gonna get its clip from? You know, I walk over here and this seat has a clip. So when I get around to it, I'll pull that clip out like this, whatever you wanna call it, a molding, step molding. Notice mine, this is mine. See, it has a little bit of rust. So it was rubbing on the door at some point because the clip gave out on it or whatever the deal was. And I rubbed through the door. So, you know, cleaned my door up, patched it up and put the OEM one. So as I, as I said, someone was trying to take care of her, and they did well. They did so well, I made it a parts car. Anyways, boys, um, yeah, super excited. Let me know in the comment section, should I put those JDM wheels? I'm thinking like, uh, shoot, I don't even know, JDM 5, 10, 8 spoke, 10 spoke, something like that, JDM, JDM Lokish. Uh, I'm not after chrome and like 20, 20s or anything like that. I'm thinking 16s, maybe 17s, you know, something at 205, 215 on the width and probably 45 or 50 on the profile. I still want a little bit more meat. Um, that's cutting it close for me right there. As far as the meat goes, I think this is an 18. Let's see what this is. By the way, this is a 2020 SI my brother law owns. If you guys want to see a video on it, let me know. I'll shoot one for you. What are the sizes on this thing? 235, 40, 18s, yeah, definitely too much for my liking. I'd like to see a 45 minimum on a 205, 215, and a 17. And then if I go 16, I'll definitely go 50s, 205s, just stock 5th gen tire size. And I'm not going to do anything crazy as far as lowering. I want maybe an inch, at most inch and a half, and go from there to there. But, yeah. Anyways, boys, God bless you. Y'all have a good day, and uh, let me know in the comment section. We'll go from there. I'll put the seats back in, lower down this vehicle. Um, getting lazy, but I'm also wrapping up my day. It's probably like 7 p.m. by now. What I am going to do is pull these speakers out, dremel out the plastic better so it can sit a lot better, and, and uh, find a better way to secure it because it looks like she's struggling. And obviously tape this up. I don't know what to do. Maybe go out and get some more of this thick plastic and cut out my own piece or maybe patch this up. Continue doing what's going on here. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm definitely excited about the insulation. I did it on both sides, as you can see. The chrome side. Patron. Right there. Anyways, boys. God bless you. Have a mighty fine day. Ciao. Bye.